Less is usually more, but that's not always the situation. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hi, welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. My name is Kyla Denanyo. So today we're talking about the book Less. The author of the book is Andrew Sean Greer. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. First of all, I love the cover of the book, right? It tells you so much about the story by just the cover, okay? So you see here, there's a guy falling out of the sky. He's wearing a gorgeous cobalt cerulean, whatever blue you wanna call. I think it's more of a true navy. But this suit is such a big deal in the entire book. <laughs> So one of the quotes that I really love about the book is when Les says, it's a funny thing to be almost 50. I feel like I just learned how to be young. And that quote really resonates with me because for one, I am 38 years old. I don't look 38 years old. I don't feel 38 years old. How, how am I 38 years old, right? I get it. I've been around the sun 38 times, but I feel 18, I feel 24, I feel like I can do anything, right? And when I talk to nieces and nephews and cousins that are younger than me, I'm like, being in your 30s is having all the energy of your 20s, you just have more money, <laughs> right? So I kind of understand why people say things like 30s is your new 20s and stuff like that because I feel incredible. Like, I can't believe I am two years from 40, still learning new things, still trying new things, like starting a YouTube channel, and it's like, Man, for him to say I'm almost 50, but I still feel so young is so on point because your mind is young, especially if you keep it sharp. It's all kinds of things like reading. Your body might start to get a little sluggish, but he's like, I just learned how to be young and now it's almost over. <laughs> so I read this book twice so far. The first time I read it, I tried to pick it up and read it and it was just a little bit slow for me at the time. I think I was too busy doing other things. So then the next time I read the book, I got the audio book loved it the narrator of the audiobook is fantastic and now it was starting to the story was coming more alive to me right less moroccan less cancun less this and you're like i i get it right it was almost like i had to jump into less and i think that's because as i'm reading it i'm reading it in the sound of my voice i'm reading it like a 38 year old woman and hearing the male narrator narrate the book i was like i see where you're coming from less get what you're doing right so I really love that and then the reason why this quote was so important to me is because there's a section of the book where the author is talking about time machines and no matter what time you go back whether it's a machine whether it's hot tub time machine whatever you can never get past where you met that person right so if I meet you at 25 I can never see you younger than 25 because to me even my fondest memories would be of you at 25 and then through the rest of your life. And I was like, that's a really good point. <laughs> Great point. And so this book took two tries, but I'm really glad I tried it because Les was exceptional. It was so good. Like I was cheering for Les. I was rooting for Les. I was like, let's go, right? I really enjoyed it. And then even at the end where the father of his boyfriend, they have a conversation and you're just like, dang what's gonna happen with freddie right <laughs> so that takes me to would i reread this book 100 percent yes <laughs> i almost said 100 percent less but i don't know if the pun will come across on video i would definitely reread the book because less was the man right my criteria on whether or not i would reread a book or better yet my criteria on what makes a book rereadable is if I miss the characters. If I wonder, I wonder what Les is doing. I wonder how I'll see Les when I read it when I'm 40. I wonder how I'll see the book when I read it when I'm 39, right? If I am still thinking about the characters, if I finish a book and I'm like, what, are, what do you think they'd be doing now? That's how I know I should reread a book. And with this one, absolutely. I wanna know exactly what Les is doing next year. I wanna know what he's doing in 10 years. Like the couple that decided they'd be together for 10 years exactly and then reevaluate. I want to know. Give me the receipts. <laughs> Let me know what's happening. So for that, yes, I would definitely reread the book less. I had a great time reading it the second time. 
but via audiobook and this time it did pop out to me in a different way than it did before so let me know if you've read anything by Andrew Sean Greer and let me know if you're planning to pick up the next book so until next time this is Kyla Denanyo and thanks for watching Kyla's Reading Day bye